You got the Duchess and the Queen here, two thirds of the Royal Peaches, and we are working on a metal table here that we slick stick with a couple of coats, um, and then we put on, uh, which is a, a bonding primer, and then we put on two coats of cotton, which is a white chalk paint. And then we've got um, this glitter, German glitter glass from Paint Couture, and I guess it's black. I want to make sure the cover's on <laughs> so I don't dump it sideways. And that is what we, we did. So we took a stencil and we put the stencil on and we used some spray adhesive um, on top of the stencil. And then we removed the stencil and then put the German glitter glass on here. And we don't know if this is going to work or not. Yeah. Just, <laughs> this is an experiment. So now we've got a chip brush. And oh because this stuff is so flipping uh, valuable, we're, we don't want to just throw out all this extra glitter glass. Oh so, my gosh, look how good it looks. Woo! And then we're going to resin over this. And this is the um, Greek key stencil from Dixie Bell that we're using. And I'm thinking I'll just go halfway and then I'll twist the table around. Yeah. And I'm just really lightly brushing. Um, yeah, because it's starting to pull it's off. It's starting to pull off, so. I wonder if there's a way to just kind of come along the, the edges. Yeah, I'm sure. Look how cool that looks like. Be kind of a distressed Greek key and glitter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're not, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Like a faded stencil look. Yeah. So this will be the bottom coat. Yeah, one thing about the glass glitter versus the regular glitter is we won't have to use as much resin to get it covered. Okay, good deal. Another thing about the glass glitter, if you use it, um, it is glass, <laughs> it is sharp. So uh, you need to wear gloves or be careful because I've got a piece stuck in my finger and it does not feel good. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> And then obviously we'll probably hit this with a blow dryer outside to make sure we get all the excess, if there's any excess off, right? Yeah. But I think we're doing pretty good. Because if we don't, what'll happen is what's loose will float around, maybe. Okay. I think. Would I it know. float to the top? Well, no, because no, it's, it's heavy. heavy. It's heavy, all it's right. too heavy to float. All right, so that's the other cool thing about this stuff is that if you use it in molds, it will, it will sink to the bottom of the mold, which when you unmold is the front. Is the, yeah, yeah, is the part that you see. Oh, when you get it clean, it's just mm -hmm. so pretty. Alright. One more side. It's turning out better than I thought. You know, we're just sitting here playing with stuff, trying to figure out the limits that we can that we have yeah. and we like to think we don't have any limits yeah. so that's why we're doing this <laughs> and these products are so amazing they don't have limits but look no. at all that excess and we want to reuse this because this stuff is yes. precious as gold i'm afraid to brush too much more yeah yeah so it all did good except this side right, right that here. Side. And it okay. might have been the adhesive it, and the way probably, I sprayed it. It probably was because it stuck good everywhere else. Yeah. But that's why it's so cool. Because you'll have the you'll have layers on top of yeah. it. So this is just the background. Yeah. Alright. That's all that's for it. now. See ya.